Previously on Sailing the Lone Star, I tried to get to the bottom of our ever-evolving power issue while in Marina del Rey. We then put our heads together to perfect the reefing system on the mainsail and put the Keenan filters to good use all en route to San Diego. I'm Aubrey. I've been living on a sailboat. Not this sailboat. This sailboat is a 1977 Formosa 51. Her name is Houdini, and some of us call her the pirate ship. This is the boat that I'd like to circumnavigate. This week we lose a crew member, and we're delayed by an unforeseen paperwork issue as we try to make our way into Ensenada, Mexico to check in. Good morning. So last night there was a little bit of a change of plans after the epic dolphin sunset. We found out, we actually got a hold of the marina and we found out that in Mexico, if you if your boat's owned by an LLC, you need to have a running letter from the company. But the caveat is that I have to have it notarized. So we pulled into San Diego. Joy's gonna jump off because she's got to get back for uh, teaching a yoga class. We're really bummed to lose her. But we're gonna go into the Hilton, have this document signed, and then we're gonna hop off the fuel dock here. We jumped on the fuel dock here in San Diego to just top up and meet the notary, and then we're off to Ensenada. Oh yeah. How we doing there, Joy? Come on, Poodle, where do you think you're going? All right, we've got our wet clothes hanging from the other day, and we've got one hairless pussy that's not ready to get out of bed yet. Eek. It's your watch. It's your watch. It's your watch. No? Okay. We are fired up and ready to go. Woo! Yay! We got notarized. We are officially illegal. I mean legal. Um, but we're losing joy. So sad. So, so sad. All right. It's been fun, you got all the cold weather and you're leaving for the good weather. I don't know what you're thinking. I hope you come I back. No, I know. Coming wish, back? Yes, I want to come back. I wish I could continue on with you, but Ooh. we got a business to run. Yep. <laughs> yes, yeah, so if you need canvas work, send it to someone else because we want her to sail with us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm get some work done so yeah. I can come back to Mexico. That's right. Okay, well, uh, thanks for shoving us off and we will see you in hopefully a few weeks. Okay. Cool. Boy's gonna miss her. Yeah. It's been fun, guys. <laughs> it's been awesome. Hey, good luck I'm on the way home. Still on your boat. Come hang out on my OJ20. That's right. Um, yeah. No, we can buddy boat because you're there on you the go. island. Yeah, keep me on my own boat. That's <laughs> that's that's the, yeah, that's the smart move. <laughs> just like that. Nah. <laughs> you can boat. actually. It's more fun to buddy boat. <laughs> <laughs> bring all the paddle boards with us because we're cruising. That's right. I got several. Do you have? Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, we love you. Mwah, mwah, nice to meet you. Mwah. It was awesome. Yeah, Thanks. it was fun. Off okay. Camera, off camera posted out there. Uh oh. All right, we ready? We're just gonna blow off, huh? Okay, yeah, don't try to don't try to ditch out, Doug. I see you. you keep him on a short leash. Practice makes perfect, and I'm getting more and more comfortable taking right. Houdini on and off of the dock. The helm turns what seems to be 20 times in each direction, and I have the tension tightened all the way. There is no rudder feedback because she has a hydraulic steering system, which makes things a little tricky. We say goodbye to Joy and get ready for our approximately 65 nautical mile sail to check in in Ensenada, Mexico. We don't have much wind, but we have our fingers crossed it will fill in later in the day.
It seems that almost every time I peer over the bow, we're being ushered by dolphins, as if Houdini is a giant floating chariot. It's truly spectacular. We didn't catch a single fish today, and not for lack of trying. As we passed through the rocks jutting from the sea floor, I wondered if we would get any wind at all today. But the Ford Lehman is running like a champion, and we're well on our way. In my humble opinion, the sunsets just cannot be beat offshore. And the dolphins again joined us to make it absolutely magical. Did that one squeak? I think they need help. <laughs> they need help? They're trying to tell us. <laughs> uh, make sure we don't lose a poodle. Poodle. We are almost to Ensenada where we're gonna check in, hopefully. And uh, we got all of our paperwork notarized. We've been trucking along, we've sailed, we've motor sailed, we've motored, and uh, we're gonna be there tonight. So I'm really excited. We have caught zero fish. It's very sad. Not that we have any room for it in the freezer because I went crazy provisioning. Coming into Ensenada late last night was a nail biter. It was pitch dark and we had to ride the swell through a dog leg of an entrance. But here we are. Welcome to Mexico.
this. What do you think, Cap? I think there's a hole in my floor. There is a hole in the floor. <laughs> what are you guys getting into? Oh, just uh, the zinc replacement. Fit? But did it fit? Well, we don't want to. It's um, not just turning out easy. Throw it in reverse. The lock nut on the stuffing box loosens, so we should tighten it with that big orange wrench right there. Okay. So that. Well, because there's a little bit of a bend in the shaft. Mm -hmm. um, it pulls it out. It shouldn't I'm normally. Going, I'm you need to get. Way, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But you can take this out, and then um, that should help us with the leak. And then, as far as the float switch goes, because we have that oil leak, can you give me your hat and settings? Hey, Doug. Doug. It's not about the size of your wrench, buddy. Look at how excited the poodle is. <laughs> Poodle's like, yeah. Yeah, it's all about the wrench. It's like, oh, I'll do what you say when you're holding that. <laughs> that would be the consistent drip. Mm-hmm. Not the animals eating the boat. Mm -hmm. Is that a thing? Mm -hmm. That's a thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to change the water filters for the fuel. I mean, how do we know if they're dirty or not? Well, let's see. Fresh water. <laughs> that does look. I don't know when to change these. <coughs> what does that say for micron on it? Or does it say anything? Does it say anything? Does it say anything on that bowl right there? Because this looks 15, like the same. 1450. Coconut shell carbon. Carbon 1415. Coconut shell carbon. Okay, so that must be. That's got to be it. Searle changed the filters on this last, and I'm not really sure how it works. I guess the telltale will be when we run the system, we will see if it's if there's too much pressure okay, in it. Just dump it. Do we want to dump that, or do we want water in it so it doesn't suck air into the system? I don't think it matters at the water pump, really, I think. Because I know we don't want air in the system. <laughs> just take it back. Just take it back. Just take it. Just take it. Trust me. Just drink it. Be... <laughs> He's a team player. How is it? It's not salty. Laxative. I think we should throw it out because I don't want it contaminating the inside. Of okay. The All right. Dump it. Dump it. Listen to Big Red. This is the tank we're running on, the starboard tank. One more and three quarter, all the other ones look full. We're just gonna hit this button now. Cool. Are you ready to take us out of the harbor, Cap? Yeah. I'm a little nervous of the swell. All right, what do we think, guys? Gun it. We have quite a channel. We came in the other night, and the swells are just blowing you by. Think? You have to gun it. I, I know you do, Aubrey. Just so you're lined up. Yep. You're, you're good here on the Navionics. Pretty much good. How are you feeling about the the ride today, Cap? Good, good. We're I'm feeling so much better. The more more docking, I'm getting really comfortable, so that's good. Yeah, where yeah. are we going? Where are we going? We're I going to think... San Quentin. I'm taking these boys next stop, San Quentin. We're going in the river. Oh yeah, we're going in the river. In the dinghy. They're gonna take me down river in the dinghy. Yes, we're yeah. gonna go to the punta. In the punta. The punta. We're going to the punta. <laughs> <laughs>
next week, we take you from Ensenada to San Quentin. And not the prison. It's a quiet little fishing town, well-known by off-road enthusiasts. A huge thank you to my patrons for making these videos possible. If you can't wait until next week, check out my daily show. Go to www.sailingmisslonestar.com. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next week on Sailing Miss Lone Star. So much cheaper than a parrot. Ow! Again. Can I join the band?